The following material was written by me alone and represents my own personal opinions on this topic. All right. Hello, my name is Leroy Stanton, and I am a sophomore um, transfer student majoring in information management and technology at the iSchool uh, at Syracuse University in Syracuse, New York. And I am going to do a video um, demonstration and kind of like a edit review, if you want to say, of a social media site, not like Facebook or anything like that, but of a program called Team Viewer that's for like remote desktop connections, kind of like how um, Microsoft um, has remote desktop connections on their operating systems. Um, but those are normally only available for users that are using like a professional version. This is for anything. Um, it'll connect whether you have any professional versions or not. It is free. And you can get the commercial version, which you have to pay for, but that's for like if you're doing a lot of um, video conferencing or, and stuff like that. So I'll start out by going to the website, showing you they have screenshots available on the website. Um, www.team viewer sorry dot com apparently they're hiring so that's good to know but they have over 200 million users that trust team viewer which is really good because I mean a lot of people that I ask or tell about that they don't know it what it is they never heard of it but it's a good software to have I mean there's a lot of good features the remote desktop I don't think it has like um, file sharing, you can file share from computer to the remote computer or from um, like if you're controlling somebody's remote computer, remote computer for to help them and they have a file you want, you know, they allow it, you can transfer that from their computer to your computer. Uh, right here it shows it's available for Windows, Apple or Mac, I mean, um, Linux devices and um, mobile devices like iPhones, iPads, Android operating systems and Windows Phone. Um, you cannot connect to your mobile device but you can connect to a computer from your mobile device so say you're at school or home or wherever and you want to connect to a, um, your laptop or your desktop from your phone you can do that and it's really cool. It's kind of freaky. Um, let's do some screenshots real quick. So these are screenshots that come right from it pretty much. They look just like it. This is your main screen. This is your main um, platform right here. Um, when you lock, when you open the application, this is what it will come to first. Right here, allow remote control. So this is where you allow somebody can, to control your computer. Um, it'll give you a ID automatically generated and a password which resets every time you log into it. It'll be different. Down here you can select a personal password. So this is the password you don't want to give to anybody, that, especially if you don't trust them, because they can use that to log into your computer every time. Whereas if you use, if you give them the, the the automatic password that resets every time, the next time you log in and they try to connect to you, it won't work. They have to have the right password. Over here, you have remote control or control remote computer. This is where if somebody allows you to connect to their computer, they will tell you their um, ID number, and this is where you put it. And then you hit connect to partner. And then it'll ask for a password, and they'll also tell you their password. Um, this is your next screen here. Once you have an account on here, you go to your account. You can see the computers that can connect to you and the computers that you can connect to. Um, right here, is, you can add this computer, and it'll put that on there. So um, once you log into your account from another computer, you can connect to your computer that you added. You can add remote control, uh, add a remote computer. Add a contact. This is this is a good um, platform right here. Let's do another screenshot. This is the last screenshot I'm going to show you. But this is the file transfer um, box, pretty much. Um, this person's connected to George. It looks like this is the local computer over on this side that they're on, and this is the remote com the remote computer that they're controlling on this side. So say this person goes into desktop or um, sorry my documents, and they have a file like a document, that, let's say it's a paper they typed up or something, they're helping they're helping a teammate or sharing a teammate um, I don't know why they would do that, share, share a paper they wrote, but 
let's just use that. They go in there, my documents, find the paper, and then they come over here and click, like say they want to put it on the desktop so it's easy to find. They click on the desktop and then click send over here. It'll transfer from your local computer to uh, the remote computer and it all goes over the internet. So um, that's, a, that's a great feature to have. Um, I'm going to actually show you because I have it on my desktop and my laptop. I'm going to show you how it actually works like real time. Um, but yeah, let me close out of this. And I have it on my desktop on my laptop that I'm using right now. So I'll pull that up. Like I said, this is the main window that comes up first. Um, that's my, well, currently right, currently right now, that's my um, um, ID and my password. So, but by the next time I log into this and you guys have viewed it, that'll have changed already. But I have my own personal password set up to work. Um, and I don't know why, I don't know what, partner ID that is but for some reason when I come in into my program it has that already in there but I'm a, I have an account and my ID is Alaska Airborne 09 because I was in Alaska and these are my con these are my computers that I have on my account this is the desktop PC I'm going to show you that I, I can connect to and this is my laptop that I'm currently on you cannot connect to the device you're already on because you're already on it so if I'm on my desktop and this is on and my laptop is on, I can connect to the laptop from there. But so I double click on that. Down. Okay, that happened fast. So right now, this is my desktop. Um, I want that thing to go away. I have Norton's on all my computers. I like Norton's. That's just a personal preference. Um, I have a widescreen of 20 inch, so that's why it allows me to scroll up and down here. Because my my laptop screen is not as big, but I'm I'm gonna cut to the chase. Actions right now, if you don't um, enable it, sorry, over here on view, if you don't enable it to automatically remove the wallpaper or show the wallpaper, it'll just remove the wallpaper by itself. Uh, removing the wallpaper kind of helps with the speed and performance because the less things you have to process over the internet. Um, the faster it'll be, it might not be fast enough to notice. Um, quality, you can select the size, quality settings, custom settings, scaling. Um, I want, if I want to do full screen, it'll take, it'll, it'll look more like I'm on the desktop, and it won't have like my start menu and stuff for my other, for my uh, laptop computer. Whoops. Keep scrolling out of the view. Okay. Um, refresh. Remove wallpaper. Like if I just want to have it faster and performance wise, I can do that. And show remote cursor. Right now I'm using the cursor from the remote computer because it's easier than using the touchpad on my laptop. Okay, so audio and video. This is if you have the commercial version. You can do chat, videos, um, voice over IP and conference calls. This is the paid version. I don't think I have that availability right now because I'm using the free version. Let's show you this. The file transfer box I was telling you about. This is my um, laptop. This is my desktop over here on this side. And I can transfer a file from here. So if I want to do the name plaque.jpg from the laptop to the desktop, um, I'll do that and watch. Yep, it transferred it. So name plaque.jpg on this side. And if you come down here and look, it's actually on the desktops um, as an icon. So I don't want that on there though. I was just showing you. And that's how you transfer that. That's how you transfer files. And you can do vice versa. You can do from the remote computer to the local computer, which is really cool. Um, extras, you can do additional, in, in, invite additional participants. So you can have like three way, like, that sounded bad. You can have like, um, multiple people connected together and that's more like a conference call and that's the paid version you can do remote printing I've never used that before I don't know if it's free or not but apparently you can print from like your local computer to the remote printer if there's a printer on their network you can take screenshots um, you can oh that's cool I didn't even know you could do that so, like, I'm recording my desktop right now, showing you this. If you're on Team Viewer, you want to record the session, you can you can record that. Um, I think that's the, this the VPN is the paid version. I don't think it allows me to do it. And you can do a remote update. 
and remote system information. So if I want to see the information for the remote computer I'm controlling, you hit that, and this is all the this is all the information of my desktop computer, desktop PC, the domain.